Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. <clears throat> I may talk a little slow this morning, slower than usual, because I had convulsions again last night from trying to rush, 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 get everything out of that apartment. But I got it done and got the keys turned in. Yay, praise the Lord. He helped me for sure. And my friend Jennifer, everybody say a prayer for a special blessing on that woman. Okay, here's why I'm on. Today is now February 7th. Now I know I did a fundraiser sort of you could call it for Tessa Tessa and Morella are our sisters in Christ and Tessa I'm sorry Morella has written here let me send this off let me finish this email and read what she wrote Hi, family. How are you? Keep looking up like I do. She encourages us, the few she writes, the ones that I've given to her. She said, I just dreamed I had missed an appointment at two. So I was getting, I was trying to get to it at three. Could it mean we missed yesterday and can get it today? She's talking about the rapture. This is dated February 3rd. She's so looking forward to the rapture. She said, just wondering, I dreamed I was in the U.S. And Lo Nail, that's her ex-husband, that gave her the two boys, her older boys. She said, I dreamed I was in the U.S. and Lonell was supposed to take me to a court hearing. And he spoke on the phone. And spoke. And it, she probably should have said, and spoke, and spoke, and spoke. <laughs> and the hearing was at two. And he stopped talking when it was three. So I said, I just missed it. He often did that to me when I was with him. He was able to talk for days on the phone and never hear a word I said. So in my dream, there was a strange storm coming, lights in the sky, and some electrical wires above my head were about to catch fire. I knew I only have seconds here. I looked at the sky and woke up as I was watching, waiting for it to split open any second now. I never drove in the U.S. nor here. Yeah, Lonell took her driver's license away from her. So Lonell, who had the car, was preventing me from going to the court. And then I tried in my dream to drive, but the car was acting strange. So I just left it in the street and went walking towards the court. And meanwhile, looked at the sky. Could it mean anything about today? Love. That's how she ends her emails with love. <laughs> then she added, I hope it does. Depression is trying to get a hold of me like never before. Okay, now that was one. Here on the third she says, I'm sorry, that's the same one. It was a different one she wrote. Maybe it's this one. Okay. This was February 2nd. Hi, beautiful sisters. 
I just want to say I am still waiting for something to happen today. Or, at the latest, first week of February before having to worry for another month of expenses again. Please keep us in your prayers. Listen to this. David, that's her oldest, he's nine now, was saying today he feels useless. I told him the fact that Lonell hates us does not mean our father does. On the contrary, our father is still able to care for us till the moment he takes us home. When will that time be? I do not want to lose hope. Much love. I can read it in her letters. You know, she, this is a very unique situation. That an American found her on a one of those websites in Romania. She's from Romania. He went to Romania after they emailed back and forth a while. He agreed to marry. He goes there. They have a date or two, and she decides, okay, I'll marry you, or however long it was. She wasn't specific. She goes to America, and he marries her on the promises of, I have a job, I'll get you a house, we'll have children, a white picket fence, and everything. Liar, liar, pants on fire. He had an 18-wheel truck, and her house was in the back of the truck. Liar, liar. She shouldn't have married him, but she did. There she was in America. Who wouldn't want to get out of the poverty of Romania and be in America, hoping that maybe after a few years of driving the truck, they could get the house? And they did eventually when she got pregnant. Well, long story short, the man is a user, and he was using her to keep him awake so he could drive because he has something like, what is it, narcolepsy or something. There's a lot of money in long-distance truck driving. Anyway... So they have these two babies, and when the one's little bitty baby, he takes them on a vacation. No, they decided to move to Ecuador. He sells the truck. They take sell everything they have. He takes her to Ecuador. He finds out, yeah, the housing's cheap, but the food is just as high, and the clothes are just as high. He gets mad, like... He didn't know all this and takes it out on her, beats her up, takes all their money except $230 and leaves her in Ecuador. Now she's an American citizen from Romania with not enough money to fly them back to the States. He left them with enough money for a, maybe a month, a mom and two babies. Then she meets Salvador, who promises to take care of her boys. Well, they turn out to have ADHD, and he don't like it. He gets her pregnant, and she has Christina. And before she can fully recover, having decided she's leaving him, she gets pregnant again with the littlest one. It's a sad, sad story, and nobody should hold it against her that she shouldn't have been with Salvador in the first place. Yeah, I did a lot of things I shouldn't have done either, and maybe I would have my girls with me still. 
They call me a spiritual hypocrite. Well, I was one when not they were kids. Dating men, between men, wait, looking for a husband. I had to have a man in my life. That's a spiritual hypocrite, is it not? Aren't we supposed to love the Lord our God with all of our heart, mind, soul, and strength and not need a man? Well, we do, a lot of us. I mean, it's like we're supposed to be Oh, the true ideal is you become a born-again believer and filled with the Holy Spirit and in love with Jesus before you meet a man. But we all know that doesn't happen. I was, however, filled with the Holy Spirit at the age 20 during my first marriage. But he was such a pervert. And I can't get into all the details. Things I haven't even told my girls That I had to heal from and forgive. It's how I ended up with my second husband. So use your imagination. Alright. Enough of that. What we all did in the past is in the past we forgive ourselves. It'd be nice if all the people in our lives would forgive us, but we can't make them. We can't make them. But we can forgive each other our sins. We don't hold her sins against her. She needs help. And whether you believe her story or not, I know it's true. I get pictures of them. I tried posting one picture as, the, what do you call it, custom thumbprint. And YouTube wouldn't allow it. And it was before all this COPPA stuff came up. And then when I, I changed it later to the dad and the two little ones, it came out upside down. I'm like, what in the world? We just be screwing around with our stuff all the time. So I don't try to post your picture anymore. I just put help needed or something like that. Tessa and Morella need us. And I know many of you, you gave your last money. I know you did. And God is going to bless you for that. Somehow, people are going to come through for you. And, oh, man, if I, you know, this move, as badly as I needed it for my health, I wish I didn't have to do it. But I had to take all the money I had given in to me that I normally would have shared, some of it with you guys, especially Morella and Tessa. I had to pay this place. A past due month's rent. I was running a month behind for four years. Because I tried to start paying them in 2018, January. And all of a sudden, I put the $50 extra. And they come up with, oh, I owe them $500 for the security deposit. What? I had it in writing. I had it on paper. I done paid that. So the next month, they tried to say it was for my pet deposit. It was financial harassment. It's a type of harassment. There was a witch involved. I know it. I know it. I know it. But anyway, the administrator made that go away. And I, had to, I came up with the money to pay that month's rent off. And last month... That company stole $200 from me. That stupid scam with the free CBD oil. All I had to do is pay shipping and I gave him my debit card number. Anyway, that's a long story. The point is, I, I haven't been able to give like I normally do. But it shouldn't be up to me. It shouldn't be up to me and a couple others. That's how it's been being. There's, 
I know that at least half of you have to be able to spare ten dollars. And please don't think I'm begging for something I shouldn't. I'm like Paul here saying, I expect you all to take up a collection for the poor so that when I come, that's out of the way, I'll take up the money and distribute it as I see fit. That's pretty much what I'm saying. But I gave you Tessa's, Tessa's uh, few videos ago and many of you gave. I don't know how much. I hope it's enough for her to get what she needs. But anyway, the point is, now I have to ask you for Morella. It's the 7th of the month. She owes February rent, which is only two fifty. dollars See, rent is cheap. But she has a two-room house. Two rooms. For two fifty a month, would you live that way? I doubt it. But anyway, some of you would. Some of you are home homeless and have to rent a room like Jubilina redeemed. Cause she has to keep moving because of the witches and the CIA that's working for the black ops keeps telling the landlords, "You don't want to rent to her. We're watching her for a felony." And they can't arrest her. They don't arrest her because she really hasn't done anything. Now, how about that? What kind of lifestyle is that? But she has her subscribers now taken up for her. And they keep her in a house, a room. She rents a room. So, Marilla is very happy to have her little two-room house. But she needs money to feed those children. She has to give her ex-boyfriend 200 a month to feed those children and a little more, like 60 a month, for daycare, bus, and expenses. And I'm begging you to look into your budget. You have to donate it to me so I can send it to them, Western Union. Because of all the mess Loan Elle caused, she has no ID that can start a bank account. And I don't know if she could have by now or can't because she has no birth certificate or anything with her. She's probably just been so almost on the verge of giving up just puts all her energy in taking care of the kids I don't know I can't explain everything do we really need to know she's poor and needs money that's what you need to know and you might think well she should have done this she should have done that she could have done this by now I don't care if she could have done whatever by now I think the same things we all do, but we don't know the circumstances of how it works in Ecuador, and Peru is involved, so forget about it. Just please try to give 10 or $20, y'all, please, and the, the PayPal is JLM, my initials. JLM, because I'm McCombs. I was McCombs at the time. I still am legally. I have to go to Social Security to get it changed to Hardesty. Anyway, it's JLM with the number 4 HIM. It's all lowercase at att.net. That's the only time you use that email is for PayPal to get a uh, pay a donation to PayPal to me and the picture you see is my little dog in his black tuxedo when he was a little pup he could wear that <laughs> I used that black tuxedo coat as a pattern 
And every time he, he, when he outgrew it, I made it a little wider and a little longer and then a little wider and then a little longer. <laughs> and so I've used that as a pattern ever since. <laughs> so it was well worth the little bit I paid for it. It was a patent leather raincoat with a little top hat. It's so cute. Anyway, when you type that in right, you see my picture. You see my dog. <laughs> He's so cute. Well, I'm going to let you go. I've put the need out. I told her I would. And it's up to you to take it to the Lord, as many have. How much should I give? And the Lord tells them in one way or another what they should give. And I pray that you will take this seriously and not just click it off and forget about it. What if it was you? What if it was your daughter and you were poor and couldn't send her but $50 a month? She probably gets a little from her sister and her family. But they can't send her all she needs. She needs $750 a month, people. Total. Okay. I've said enough. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ in Nazareth over this video. The internet connection. My computer. I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every single one of you, all your devices, and your internet connection. And with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.